Alright guys, as you know that um, uh, our government in Malaysia has actually encouraged us to use uh, the digital wallet to do our transactions and um, due to this COVID-19, this thing has been more apparent now so um in order to encourage more of us using the e-wallet the government is giving us another 50 ringgits into our e-wallet to spend on all our uh, expenses stuff in the outlets or even on the online so um what i've did is i've got the touch and go and my mom have got the boost so we have these two uh, system e-wallet that we are going to test it out so um let's get into it. All right, there's something very weird about the e-wallet. As for the touch and go, this is the 50 ringgit penjana. So um it is already in my e-wallet balance, but on the boost side, my mom's one doesn't have it, but it is available on the my reward side. Penjana e-wallet 50 remaining balance expired on 30 September 2020. So um, as you know that this 50 ringgit will expire on the September 30. After September 30, this 50 ringgit will no more longer be able to used. So um, this expiry has been set by the government and it also applies on the 30 ringgits that we have um, got before this. But uh, none of us um, actually are aware about the expiry date. So this time, Boost has uh, put up the uh, expiry date here. So um, let's see how to use it since it is not available in the e-wallet balance, but it's available here. So uh, we are going to go out and try out and redeem this uh, 50 ringgit. Alright guys, before we go exploring, let's have our lunch first. So I'm going to bring my mom to one of her favorite banana leaf house. Let's go. We are done here. Okay, for the Indian culture, if you flip right up like this, it means that um, you are not happy with the food. But if you are happy with the food, you have to flip it up here. In. So I flip up and we are done. This place accepts boost, so we are going to try out my mom's boost and see how it goes. Thank you. Alright, 
Thank you. All right, if you can see from here, for 50 ringgit, I've used 22 ringgit 85 cents. So I have the balance more when we 50 ringgit deduct by 22 85. So basically, that's how easy it is to use wood. Even though the balance in your e wallet does not have the 50 ringgit, but because in the panjana you have the 50 ringgit, so they will deduct from the panjana first. So let's try and see how we can use touch and go on the 50 ringgit. Alright guys, as you know that my mom has just bought her e-bike. So now we are going over to one of the bicycle shops to check out some of the helmets there to see which type of helmets are suitable for her. Mommy? Come Tinetale, 這個很漂亮啊 Shifo 會殺的嗎? guys, my mom is still considering whether she wants to get a helmet or not. So let her think about it. But anyway, let's see. Are there any place that I can use my touch and go to actually uh, use up my Penaja 50 ringgit? Alright guys, we found out there's another shop that's open today so we are going to go over and check out what type of helmets do they have. This one is very small. This one is like a little Today is a few days after uh, our test on the Panjana 50 Ringgit on Boost and Touch and Go. So um, before we proceed with the Touch and Go, let me actually uh, conclude some of the Boost uh, functions and benefits. So um, basically, Boost, um, once you actually claim the 50 Ringgit, the 50 Ringgit will not be in your e-wallet directly. It will be on a separate uh, e-wallet called Panjana at the bottom. Some people might be confused like, oh, the 50 ringgit is not in my account, so how could I use it? That's the main questions that uh, many people will ask. Yeah, basically, it is being used as usual. They have been programmed where um, when you use the Bose uh, e-wallet, it will automatically deduct the 50 ringgit first until it finished and then it will uh, deduct the balance on your e-wallet so that's how the whole thing works so um, this 50 ringgit you can use to purchase anything uh, on the outlets 
offline like merchants like what I've did before you can also actually purchase uh, your phone prepaid top up on the apps itself and also other uh, stuff that you can purchase so what's the benefits of um, both if you claim with them they will actually give you coins for every transaction so you have to shake your your boost apps and they will give you some coins per transactions so um, that's how um, they do it on the normal uh, purchases so what you can do with the coins the coins you can actually use it to exchange for um, like vouchers on the app itself you can also um, use it to convert it into um, your cash on your e-wallets I think I've concluded um, the both uh, apps uh, users on the Panjana now let's proceed with the touch and go so uh, if you can see I didn't record anything on the touch and go uh, during that day but worry not on my next upcoming video to Seremban I've already tried to use the apps so you can refer to my upcoming video on the touch and go uh, users how I use it on the merchant side so um, let me explain about the functions and benefits as well for touch and go what I realized is like um, the difference about boost and touch and go is when you successfully claim the Panjana 50 ringgit it will go automatically into your e-wallet itself combined with your existing balance so this one is not so confusing compared to boost what can you get by claiming with touch and go um, basically the benefit is almost the same it's just the merchants different so um, they do not have coins so you do not have the coin benefit but they do have the cashback benefits for many merchants like um like T Live, Kenny Rogers, Legoland's, um, Secret Recipes and many more. So you can claim your cashback whenever you use it. So uh, this is how the boost and also touch and go uh, Pajana 50 Ringgit is being claimed and used. So um, basically it depends on uh, that individual whether they are comfortable using the boost or they are comfortable using the touch and go. To me, I don't think there's much difference uh, by using boost or touch and go to claim the 50 Ringgit. So basically it's up to you on that. I think that's all for my Pajana 50 Ringgit video sharing. I hope you have a better overview on how to claim the Panjana 50 ringgit and how to use it. So I um, think that's all folks for my video today. I hope you like it and I will see you in my next Saramban video. Bye.